Hey what's up guys TechVid here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up the bad update exploit on the Xbox 360. Now this was a hypervisor exploit that was recently discovered that allowed people to run unsigned code on the Xbox 360 and this does not require any sort of hardware mods or glitch chips. However there are some downsides to this method. So this method relies on a demo game called Rock Band Blitz, and there is a glitch in that game that allows people to load a hacked save file that allows them to run the exploit. So the downside to this method is that it takes upwards of 20 minutes to run the exploit, and it only has about a 30% chance of succeeding each time you run it, so it is pretty unreliable. So this is clearly not a replacement to a JTAG or RGH mod, however it's something good for beginners like me who don't want to go through that the hassle of soldering things. This is also very limited in functionality too, you can't do everything that's possible with a JTAG or RGH mod on here, like you can't install custom dashboards on here, you uh, have to stick with your default dashboard. And also, if you try to install another dashboard, you could end up causing a red ring error since each time you restart the console, the jailbreak does not apply. It's a non-persistent jailbreak, meaning that each time you restart, the jailbreak goes away and you have to re-jailbreak the console. So now let's go ahead and get into how to actually set up the jailbreak. Okay guys, so here we are at the computer. So first off, we're gonna need to download a few files. So I'll go ahead and take you step by step on how to do them. All download links will be in the description below. So the first thing you're going to need to download is the badupdate.zip file. So here that is, and you're going to want to extract that. So I have it extracted here. So next you're going to want to copy the contents of this folder here for Rock Band Blitz. So content and payload. So go ahead and copy those over to your USB drive. Uh, make sure that your USB drive is formatted as FAT32 by the way. Next, after we've copied that over, you're going to want to download the Rock Band Blitz trial, which I have here. You're going to want to extract that zip and get the content folder from that, which is right here. You're going to want to copy that over to your USB drive here, and it's going to ask you if you want to merge these files. Go ahead and click merge. There you go. You have Rock Band Blitz in here now. So next up, you're going to want to download XEX Menu. So here's that, uh, XEX Menu 1.1.raw. And then you're going to want to extract that file. It'll give you XEX Menu underscore v1.1. Uh, open that, open this folder, and then you'll see two more RAR files here. You're going to want to extract the live version. And here's that. Copy this folder here, this code 9999 folder. Copy that over to content and then the folder with a bunch of zeros. Paste that here. And now we have these two folders, Rock Band Blitz and the XEX menu. Next, you're going to want to download Free My XE Beta 2. So I have that here. Extract that file and here's that. Then copy Free My XE.XEX file and copy that over to the bad update payload here and then go ahead and delete this default.xex file that's here and rename freemyxe to default.xex there's that so now if you have any games that you would like to copy over make sure that they are in god format if they are in iso format then you're going to need to use something like iso to god so here's iso to god right here on my windows pc unfortunately iso to god will not work on mac os you'll have to use something like parallels desktop like i'm using here uh and just go ahead and click add iso uh browse for your iso image i no longer have mine since i've deleted it then go ahead and choose a path for the god version of it and then go ahead and create a temporary folder where it's going to extract the iso before it converts it into a god uh this is just some details that it'll display whenever you click on browse and choose an ISO image. Uh, make sure that the layout is title ID here and all other settings you can leave as default. I chose this setting to delete the original ISO but you don't need to. And then go ahead and click add. After you click add you can go ahead and click convert. It'll start converting it and then once it's done it'll give you a little status message here that says uh, that it's completed. After that you'll have your folder here with your game inside of it so it'll have the title id as the name go ahead and what you're going to want to do is copy that here and then after that go into your usb drive go to oh yeah, you can ignore these two files go to the 
content folder, go to the folder with a bunch of zeros, and then you can just paste it here. As you can see, I've already copied it for time's sake because this recording would get way too long if I did this right now, but I've already copied the game over. Uh, after you've copied this here, you want to go ahead and launch an application called 360 Content Manager, uh, which is right here. You're going to want to browse to your drive. So for me, I mounted my USB drive at USB drive E. So you're going to want to go to drive E here, go to your content folder, go to the zeros, and then go to the folder with your game in it, and then click on the 00007 and then three more zeros folder. Click on the game here, go ahead and right click on it, and then click on unlock checked files. And then after that, you should be good to go. Now we can go ahead and move over to the Xbox 360. First off, go ahead and start up your Xbox 360, then plug in the USB drive that we just prepared for it. Create a separate offline account. Do not use an Xbox Live account as there is a risk of being banned for this. So just create a separate one that's only going to be used for bad update. Disconnect from all Wi-Fi networks, including your ethernet connection if you have one. Uh, go ahead and click forget all networks as well, just to make sure that it doesn't connect back. And then after that, make sure that there's no Rock Band games or any other Rock Band related content on your Xbox 360's hard drive because this can interfere with the process too. Next, go into your games menu and then launch Rock Band Blitz. It should automatically appear after you plugged in your USB drive. Then, once you're in Rock Band Blitz, go ahead and click A, but don't choose to sign into Xbox Live. This can also interfere with the process. Uh, go ahead and choose the USB drive as your save device so that it'll start loading up the uh, hacked save. Then, go ahead and wait for the exploit to finish running. I recommend starting a 20 minute timer whenever you click Start Exploit so that you know whether or not the console has frozen or if the exploit is still running. Also, another sign of whether or not your console is frozen is if the background music on Rock Band Blitz stops playing or if the background animation that you can see on screen right now stops playing. Then it's safe to assume that the console has frozen and you will need to restart your console and then start the process again from launching the game. The exploit happens in a total of four stages. The first where you're in Rock Band uh, and then two, three, and four run in the background. So whenever you're on those phases of the exploit, the LED lights on the front of the console will change in color. So they'll have different patterns on them to signify the different stages of the exploit. Finally, it's done. Once the jailbreak is successful, it'll show your CPU key on your display and go ahead and click OK on the menus that show up. Then go to your games menu and launch XEX menu as if it was a regular game. Any games that you copied onto your USB drive earlier can just be launched from the dashboard now, or if you want to, you can also launch them through XEX menu. You're just gonna have to locate their directories on your USB drive. And there you go, you're all done. Be sure to ask any questions you may have in the comments below, and make sure to like, subscribe, and stay safe. Bye!